what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel during the summer last summer i did a few shrimping videos and had a lot of people comment how does that net actually catch the shrimp so today i've got the net laid out my 16 foot shrimp net laid out and I, i'm going to show you all, all the components of the net how i have it rigged up and how it actually catches the shrimp if you like the video smash that like button if you hadn't subscribed already please consider doing so once shrimping season comes back in we're going to be doing a lot of shrimping this year all right so this is small boat recreational shrimping the big boys and they got outriggers they do it a whole lot different but for you know it's 24 foot boat the way i do it if i got a bridle i got two hooks two eye bolts on each side and a bridle this is a ski bridle for pulling skiers i've been using it a couple of years it works really really well the roller still rolls and it allows you making your turns you don't want to make sharp turns when you're pulling a shrimp net slow gradual turns have a float on it and the float goes to my two lead ropes one of the lead ropes will go to the port side board the other one will go to the starboard side board this is a 16 foot recreational shrimp trawl in the state of alabama and mississippi you cannot go you cannot exceed 16 foot with recreational license and you also can have no mechanical means on your boat to pull that net up y'all seen on the videos me pulling the ropes up you know it's it's not the easiest job in the world to do but it can be done and it's a lot of fun but you can't have any mechanical means any pulleys any winches or any booms anything like that to to aid you because this is recreational right so we've got our bridle we've got our float we've got our two main lead lines we have the port and we have the starboard for those of you who do not know there's no right and left to a boat if you're facing forward you always have your port side over here and your starboard side over here there is no right and left side on a boat so we move on down to the doors <clears throat> they can be called doors or boards however you want wherever you're from they're called differently uh, i like to call them doors so on this door you have some chains right you've got four chains and on the back side you have nails holding each one of these four chains and that is to get your adjustment right because when you're dragging in the water you want that board the bottom of that board has a big skid plate right here and you want it to be flush with the bottom you want it to be dragging level if it's nosing up that means the back end is up out of the water that means you have to adjust your chains because it's pulling too heavy on the front so you make a chain adjustment you don't want it healing like that either you want it running flat a lot of times when you're setting up a net it's best to get in a sand bottom and paint put some paint spray paint on the bottom of those runners and pull your net for about 30 minutes or so and that sand and that paint will come the sand will clean the runners off or the paint will come off and you can tell which what that board is doing so then we go to the main body of the net you've got this float line it's got the floats on it it'll be floating up high now if you're in deeper water than six foot you won't be able to see it right because it'll be under the water but it'll still be floating it'll be pulling the top of this net up making that big trap the key component <clears throat> is this tickler chain right here the purpose of that chain it it is the first thing that drags on the bottom when you're pulling that net and those shrimp are laying on the bottom right right on the bottom that's where they're at when that chain hits those shrimp it'll make them jump up in a water column and when it does they're in the net right behind the tickler chain you've got a lead line used to the old ones used to all have lead on them this one actually has chain on it uh, but it's called the lead line so it runs about a foot behind your tickler chain that's how you want to have this set up so when that tickler chain hits the shrimp they jump up and then you have the lead line 
on the bottom, your float line on the top, and the shrimp are in the net then, right? So those shrimp will go down the net as you're pulling the net down here to the bag. This is called the bag section of the net. And there's a certain way you tie these bags to make them quick and easy. I get around like this where there's not a shadow. But you want to soften that net up. You want to get it wet where it's more pliable. But you want to go around like that, make you a loop. And then do like you're tying shoes, but leave the loop in. Go around like that. And it works a lot better when your net's wet. You pull it tight like that. Then you take this tail in, go through, pull your slack out, keep repeating that process about four or five times. And that will hold, that's all you need to do. You don't need to tie any knots, anything like that. Because the beauty of this is when you're on your picking box, when you pull that net up with all the shrimp in it on your picking box, all you've got to do is grab these two ropes and pull one in the other and it'll come right loose. Just like that. And now your net's loose. You can dump your bag into your picking box. The speed you pull this net is key. The net has pressure, right? When you're pulling it through the water, there's pressure of that webbing and all on the net. I, I like pulling my net between 1.6 and two miles an hour on my GPS. To me, that works out right. Uh, if y'all pull a recreational net, y'all comment below. Let me know what speed y'all like to run. But my dad taught me years ago, that is the speed you want to run. You don't want to go over two miles an hour because the shrimp can feel that pressure and that pressure can actually push those shrimp out around the doors and you won't get them in the net. So that's a good speed that gives the shrimp time when that tickler chain hits them for them to jump up and then just float and be carried right on into the bag. I run long lead ropes on my net. I don't know exactly how long they are. I don't remember. I've had those ropes for years and years and years. But the longer the rope, the better off you are if you're pulling in deeper water and if you have an area where you need to make turns. You need to make slow gradual turns if you turn too fast the angle of one of those doors won't be right and it'll actually fold in and they'll come in together i'm gonna leave the link right here where you can go watch one of my shrimping videos from last summer and i'll also leave that video at the end of this video where you can check it out We'll have a bunch more shrimping videos this summer. We still got about three months before shrimping season starts. I was just doing some cleanup in my garage, got the net out. I like to check it out when I'm not in a rush, not in a hurry. I like to check and make sure I don't have any tears in my net, make sure it's in good condition, make sure nothing is rusted too bad that I need to replace. And everything seems pretty good with this net. I've had this net about three years did quite a bit of shrimping with it caught quite a bit of shrimp if y'all have any questions anything that you're all curious about that i didn't cover please leave a comment i'll be sure to get back with you and answer it that's my flounder gigging boat that's a 24 foot custom built aluminum boat that i run my flounder gigging and bow fishing charters on if you're interested in going on a flounder gigging or saltwater bow fishing trip in alabama or mississippi waters Call me right there, hit that number. All of my information will be in the description below. My website, everything you need to know and my number, give me a call. Uh, Flounder are in, they're in good, they're in thick this year. Uh, I'm currently booked up about two months in advance, so if you want a spot, go ahead and give me a call, book a trip. For those of y'all that's following my channel for my Suzuki maintenance videos, I'm at about 88 89 hours on this motor it's been running flawlessly i've got it prop right with a power tech four blade 20 pitch prop 15 and a quarter inch and that is perfect i can run this boat about 45 46 miles an hour uh empty <clears throat> loaded down with a crew i'm running about 42 so 
working out great. It won't be long before I have a 100 hour maintenance service video on this motor. I'll be pulling the lower unit, checking the water pump, checking the anodes. I'll have videos on all that in the near future. So if you enjoy the shrimping content, give this video a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank y'all. See y'all on the next one.